All right, guys, so today we are going to be going over and reviewing some of the best tattoos that we could find. Expect some really high ratings and some just awesome tattoos. Right, so the first one of the day was sent in by Leon Pooley. And yeah. This one, this one is done very well. You know, we right. see it all the time, but you know, it's always good when it's done well. Right. Like the face, subtle, elegant. The only thing I don't like, again, like I've stated it, is like that wind, is that wind stuff. But again, I'm not yeah. going to take away from the overall piece. Now for the ratings, let's try to rate it with... 10 being like mind blowing and one being okay kind of thing and five being like good decent i don't know how to rate i don't know it's just like you know try to rate it a little better than like you know one being shit because obviously these are just gonna be really good tattoos right right, right. okay so with that being said <laughs> i gave it an eight yeah all so right 7.5 7. 5. 5, yeah. yeah like it's not like the best thing i've ever seen but it's, it's still really good it also says you know he just wants to say a massive thank you uh watched all your videos past years and it helped me prepare for my first tattoo and i one thing I gotta say is you are doing a good job if you are starting off your journey with this quality of a tattoo. So this one we have from Caspian and he says, you guys love my back piece that I sent in. So I decided to send in a few more and uh, they are all very good piece. This is beautiful, yeah. the statue one, but I love this one more than any. The lion one, phenomenal. We can give it this an guy, overall this, rating here? Yeah, let's give it an overall rating, but yo, you've been seems like you've been getting really good tattoos. I have an eight, I'm gonna change my- I'm gonna give it a 9.1. 8.4 okay we're a little off on that one but uh, i'm trying to take it a little bit less just because we are trying to find the best tattoos that we have that you guys have sent in all right this one was sent in by brandon and he's got and some great work phenomenal work still looks like he's building up his sleeve right you know that mother mary at the bottom is well, very both, well done yeah, that's very well done and Even then the jesus too how it's coming out of the clouds a little bit a little bit of a weird mixture having like medusa and then uh i think it's two different arms though or am i tripping no i think that's the same one because look at if you look at here it's yeah, kind of yeah medusa's. It's, the same it's the same one so a little bit of a weird mixture right. but I'm, I'm all for one for you know uh, getting tattoos that you want and not about always going with the theme even though it does look better I'm gonna well, give i kind of saw here i'm gonna give this uh i'm giving it an 8.6 so next one we got here is by mark and he's got this beautiful you know uh japanese samurai that is japanese right yeah, yeah i think I so 100%. that this is you know that's stupid man. that's it is awesome I'm, i don't know about the face it feels like a little bit too roboticy to me you know what i'm saying um, but Everything else looks I awesome. I really don't mind it at all. I love the whole piece from top to bottom. I'm not really taking anything away from it. That's just the feeling I get from it when I look at it. I'm giving this a nine, just the colors, the details, you know, even the hand grabbing the sword, about to grab the sword. 9.2. 9 Fair enough. I think it looks great. Let's see what he has to say. He just says, hope you can feature my tattoo, which I got in January. Fuck, for sure, Mark. But <laughs> we're definitely featuring it, and we're giving it a good rating, too. All right, this one was sent in by Z Tin. Says, check out my inspired uh, by Dark Mark and Harry Potter, and... That's dope as hell, man. I like the two different kind of colors coming into play on yeah. this. Like the use of the white ink to make it look like, it, like it's glowing in the dark is uh, is really dope as well. Didn't I like how same. he adds the glow onto the side of the skull, too, to really mm. give it... It gives like, it like a reflection on yeah. off the skull. Really yeah, dope. that's what I like about it more than anything. 8.7 8.0 okay this piece was sent in by alessandro and uh honestly bro i, I really really like it i really like this um, too there's a couple different components going to this like i know I, I was reading the description and it said this is uh called swallow's nest castle but uh it said how much did it say it costed uh oh. but two 2.5 k yeah. canadian yeah so it's not that expensive and about 13 to 15 hours total but uh i think it came together very nicely to be honest i man. agree I, too. I really like it i agree too um, you know, just little pieces here and there like the castle the rock and then yeah, with dope. the stone i'm gonna give, give it 8.1 i gave it a 7.8 <laughs> 7.58 around that. All right, so this next one is from Alex Lewis. He said it costed about $2,700 uh, over six hours, two sessions each. And uh, you know what? It is a little hard to kind of get a whole glimpse of it because it wraps around the arm so much. But, you know, looking at that piece and just the colors and, you know, this electric kind of thing going around it, I really like this piece, even though it is a little hard to make out initially. What do you think? I really like it, to be honest. Obviously, you know, the whole color thing for me, but it's a very different style that we don't typically see too often. That almost looks like it was grabbed from like Yu-Gi-Oh or something, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, I really like this one, actually, I really do. It's something different. I love the colors that they're used, the outlines. I'm giving it an 8.6. I'm gonna go 7.7. .7. This next piece was sent in by Ivan, and he sent in this Joker piece. And, and it's, like, man, it's, yeah, it's, it's awesome, you know, this is like black yeah, thought work kind of the, style and it just you don't see too much of this yeah. style and i really like it when it's done well and i like everything about this honestly man it's it's hard for me to rate this anything under like 
a perfect score, you know? Really? I mean, it just there's nothing I can pick away from it that I dislike, no you know? But I'm going to give it... Don't 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 tell me. Um, you guys see mine. I gave it an 8.9. Okay, I'm going to give it a 9.3. Is to rate this anything under, like, a perfect score? You know, he said he traveled four hours to get this piece. Totally worth it. I definitely agree with you. Uh, Joker is one of his favorite people. You know, like... Good shit, bro. You got a very good tattoo yeah. of something that you love. 100%. And it was, it was well worth it. All right, so the next one we got here is from Michael Page. And he sent us in this amazing anime. And uh, it's going to be the start to an anime sleeve that he wants to do. I think this looks yeah. great. It's super soft, but like, yeah, you know, yeah. it gives that full anime kind of feel to it. I'm not really a fan of anime tattoos, but, you know, this one I can't... Yeah, like you said, I like how soft it is. It looks very, uh, it's very fitting to like the anime style. Yeah, I, feel. I I really like this one a lot. So you know, Michael Page for me, I'm giving you an eight point five. I mean, it's seven point eight. Yeah. I mean, it's just something you don't really see too much of anime, but like especially like this, like that's super soft. Yeah, yeah. Where I feel like that's actually like it's just a snippet from the show itself. I don't know what show it is, but it looks amazing. All right, so the next one we got here is uh, shit, I can't pronounce. It. I don't even know what, what Jedi. And he just says, second tattoo. I've actually reviewed one of his previous tattoos on this channel. I can't remember which one it is, but, uh, you know, this is just so well in terms of, you know, that you can tell is fresh, that you can tell is, like, you know, healed. And mm -hmm. stonework is so hard to do to get it just right. And this, I just feel, is done yeah, so that's, well. Yeah, that's really... Like really that Aztec well Mayan kind of look, it kills it in my eyes. I'm giving mm -hmm. this... This is very well done. I don't know. I hope I rated your other tattoo good. I'm rating this one a 9.0 on the dock. I'm going to give it a 9.1. So they were pretty close there. Very nice. I wish I knew the pricing some people these pay. Yeah, it would be nice to kind of know like roughly like, yeah. especially around the world. Um, that too, right? Right. To kind of compare it to like what our prices are like here. You know, if you guys uh, feel comfortable, tell, tell us the prices of it too. You know, like we love to compare and see, you know, sometimes people get a very good deal and get a very good tattoo for it too. You know, sometimes the price can change the tattoo a little bit. Right. This piece here was sent in by Cynthia and yeah. honestly... <laughs> this is how you want a portrait that's to extremely look. impressive especially to do it in color as well that yeah. is incredible all the colors that are going on too like every color complements each other in a I nice totally way agree. i want to read what this says attach my, my daughter that was done by steve but there you go that's that's why it's done it's done by steve butcher steve butcher is one of the best color artists out there and uh i'm not surprised that this is done by him it took 20, 20 hours, hours. But the pain was worth, oh yeah, definitely worth it, Cynthia. This is. That's incredible. Yeah, I mean. That's mine right there. 9.7, 9.5, 9 yo, this is, this is how you want portraits to look, yo. And it's done by, like, a famous artist. You guys want to look up some great work? He's an artist to look up. All right, Chima Chema. I don't know exactly how to spell it, but, uh, you know, you got two amazing tattoo portraits here. You got one of Johnny Depp as wow. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> And then you got little, it's a little peep, right? Yeah. Both are done well. One's fresh, one's healed. And, you know, I'm looking at this healed version of the little peep one. And then I can only imagine how this is going to look when yeah, it's healed as well. Like, what are you going to rate it? That's ridiculous, man. I mean, especially the Johnny Depp one is a 10 out of 10 in my opinion, bro. Yeah, Johnny Depp, they, they, she killed like, it on that. Like, that's 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 perfect. That's like, even, if, even if you zoom into, like, perfect. the hair, the hair, even, like, the, like, the uh, band on his head. Everything is perfect. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm giving I'm it. I'm going to give it an overall score of... I don't know. It's a 9.8. 9 I'm giving 8. it a 9.2, you know? Johnny Depp one especially, like... 9.4. That's what realistically it should be. That's what that is. Now, especially because it says they paid 350 euros each one, which is... Stupid. That is great. This is, like, at least a $2,000, $3,000 job where we live. <laughs> Easily. Yeah, for each. Sure. Each tattoo. Where where do you see that, like, spelt out like that? Oh. It's just the title. Okay. okay. All right, the next piece was sent in by, G's, by G Wiz. Gee and it's a golden freezer with the infinity gauntlet and, and yeah that's a pretty cool combination you know it's 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 nice to see a little bit different in like incorporating two different things from like obviously dragon ball z and then that of marvel uh, yeah that's pretty cool colors look good it's nice and seamless all the way through i uh, love the hand how it's done the background too i even like the background yeah, yeah. the shimmer they got uh, you know it's really dope contrast between the, the foreground and the background i don't know what i want to see two this 8.8. 8.1. 8. 8.1. 8. No. I really like it. I'm more than anything, I just like the different incorporations of the two different things, like, you know. All right, so the next one we got here is a Medusa by Mark Pearson, and it just, you know, it looks so good. Like, I really like this. It's a different kind of take on what you usually it see. It is. It's more of, like, like, a, like, more human as, as opposed to, like, a mythical sort of, like... Yeah, I don't know. It just, it's different from what yeah, I've usually seen out there. I like the little blood dripping down her eye, too. The eye whitening out, just like that. 
in itself. And then the snakes, too. There's a yeah, lot of detail well in the snakes. And uh, even the chest area, too. Like, you know, it's a very... Yeah. yeah. It has, like, a modern kind of twist to it, That's I feel. Saying, That's I what agree. I'm saying. So, you know what? I have 8.8 .8 here. I'm going to give it just a... I really like this piece. I like the subtleness of it. I'm going to give it a 9.0 on the yeah, dot. 9.3. 9.3, yeah. I really, good. really like that. Good shit. I really like this piece a lot, too. And it says, love your videos. Doing a great job. Just got this tattoo for total aesthetic reasons because I fell in love with the design. And yeah, man. Don't, totally cool with that. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you need to do is get a yeah. tattoo just because you like the design. Uh, Jonathan sent us sent us a couple here. and uh, He's got some good work. He says he's a tattoo collector, as we all, most of us are. And uh, I love his chest. Just very well done in terms of, you know, separating two different... I think it looks like it's two different styles kind of mending into mm -hmm. one. Because on one side... He's got this Japanese uh, style going, which I really love this like uh, side piece he's got right. going. The depth he has with the, uh, you know, that uh, that building. I can't remember what it's called. Like gondola? Something, I don't know. It's, uh, it's like, like it's like a gate. I'm honestly. a huge fan of it, from being honest. Yeah. I'm gonna I love all the pieces. The healed wall too. If you look at the healed ones. I'm giving it a 9.2. 9.6. 9.6, I think. It's like that, that man like on his what, left pec. Yeah, the yeah, statue? Like, no, I don't think it's a statue. I think it's more of like a realistic... No, that's a statue. Like a statue. That's, a statue. So? that's a statue. That's a statue. Either way, regardless, whatever that is. I was going to get that statue. It's dope as hell. All right, so quick one here is from Histron. I know we do a lot of these ones. It's uh, obviously a Poseidon, but it is very well done in terms of how well this healed. I like how dark it is on the backdrop, too, of it all. Like, you know, it just makes the tattoo pop so much yeah, more. Absolutely. I just want to do a quick one on this one to show you guys. I'm going to give this one a 9.0 on the dot just because, yeah, again... That great heel and great overall tattoo and i like the size that he did with it too this piece was sent in by sebastian and i knew right off the bat that it was done by mashka I, I love this guy's style of of, uh, of art super unique uh, yeah. you can tell right away uh, i want to show you two little things so this is the reference photo that was used and then obviously this is the tattoo yeah. what i like about this the most is he took that water that was being spit out and turned into like this black ink and then just overall you know mash Cow never fucking misses his yeah. work is just always phenomenal and i think i feel like you can't really rate it anything under like a 10. buddy this is like a you nine point I, mean? I should put it at 9.5 i'm gonna give more. a 9.8 realistically it, it's it could even be a 10. this guy's work is incredible and you know the best thing and what i like about mash Cow and the, what he does with his tattoos is he incorporates a lot of things that has to do with that artist or whoever that person is in the tattoo like everything on this is there for an exact reason mm -hmm. and uh you know nobody does it better than mashko in my opinion so yeah That's my rating piece. my refraining blah, blah, blah. <laughs> my rating reflects that all right guys so that concludes today's video there go <laughs> all right guys that concludes today's video uh, we did this one a little bit differently this time. Usually we kind of go into it blind or we don't really know what we're lo what we're looking into. <laughs> this time we did sift through them to kind of pick out the ones that we thought were going to be the best. Yeah. And I feel like we did a pretty good job of that today. Yeah, I think I was pretty impressed with what we saw today. Yeah, let us know in the comments which one was your favorite from today's video. I know our rating system, it literally has nothing to do with anything. It's just random numbers, but it's from what we feel from the impactfulness that we see when we initially see it. So I know a lot of people kind of judge us on our scoring system. Just having fun with this. We're right. just trying to show people's other work to the you know, rest of the world. Don't send any of your tattoos in just yet. We're still trying to get through as many as we can. Just stay tuned. Subscribe if you aren't so you can see them. And, uh, you know, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will see you very soon. Like always, Justin and DJ out. Later, guys.